All right, it's the next day after I release that mouse. I'm gonna check my trap. I didn't put any new bait in it, so let's see what's in, inside of it. Oh, hey, got another one. He didn't even like turn the thing really. He must have just slipped. How many of you are there, buddy? All right, it seems like I'm having a lot more success with the trap over here. Um, probably because I keep dry goods over here. Most of it's in buckets or in packages they can't get into, like this, this plastic uh, peanut butter jar or you know, cans of stuff. But I do have oats. I did have a bag of peas, and they got into the bag of peas, and they got into a bag of oats. Um, and that's why I started using peas as a bait. Let's turn this back over here. Because I know they've been coming over here. So, I'm going to be trying to locate a bucket, another bucket that has one of these screw lids. It seals up good and tight. So I can store all the oats in it, and I'm going to get another one just to put random stuff in. Um, oh, I wonder if they've chewed up any of the paper towels. I'll have to pull that up, pull that out and look. I'm, pro I'm gonna be upgrading this trap here pretty soon. I just haven't gotten to it yet, so stick around for that. I'm gonna be doing that in this video. Um, but I'm probably gonna have to get a cat because just trapping them, I could probably just trap one every day or multiples every day. Um, and they probably just keep coming. Because I know there's a bunch of them out there. I chased a bunch out of my shed. Um, probably a dozen or so came out of my shed. So, and then there's that con whole field, that whole construction site behind my house that was an empty field. They all, that's where they all came from. So, uh, I'm probably gonna just have to get a cat because trapping them, trapping them's one thing. They needed to turn. All right, I can't even believe it just happened. I was trying to clean up some mess because I've been doing a little cutting, got some sawdust in a few places, and I wanted to clean it up, so I pulled the shop back out, plug it in, turn it on. The output spits out a bunch of peas. They're all over the floor. That's because the mice have been living in the shop back. I haven't opened it yet. There might be in there. <sighs> Alright, so I'm going to open this. I'm going to find out if they're in there. <laughs> not in there. Alright, so they were not in the shop back. <coughs> oh, sorry, I stirred up a lot of dust. Um, so... I've, I think they've figured out how to get out of this trap. I'm going to modify it, but I wound up going and getting three cats this weekend. So I have three cats. They have not come to the basement yet because we're still getting them adjusted to the new house or their new house. Um, but they'll be down here soon enough. Um, hopefully they will spread their scent and scare off the mice um, or catch them. One of the two would be ideal. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna mess with this mouse trap here in a little bit, but I gotta clean up this mess with just peas everywhere. It's, I can't even believe that just happened. <laughs> I wish I had it on video because it was just like, what is going on? <laughs> like, what is all this stuff coming out of here? Uh, all right, all right. I'm actually gonna do the mouse trap modification right now. Um, got the cats but I'm not letting them in the basement yet because I got to clean up more I don't want them to get wire wheels in their paws um, so I'm gonna make this trap a little bit more robust because the the mouse keep getting into it and they keep getting out and I can tell that they have because the the rod spins around and the peanut putter is disappearing so uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna give it a lid so let's try and engineer this real quick All right, you can see most of the peanut butter's gone, and it didn't fall in, so it's definitely been eaten. Um, I didn't eat it. <laughs> My girlfriend didn't eat it. 
So uh, yeah, I'm gonna grab this and we're gonna make a lid. Full core board. Peas, oats, rice, lentils, some dry beans, all stuff they love. There we go. Now they walk out, they fall in, food stays put, lid moves in place, they try to hop out, they're gonna hit, physically hit something and it's gonna stop them. see how it goes. It's been probably a week since I caught a mouse. Um, I've caught three total, one in my shed and two down here in the basement. I've seen them, I've seen at least one since then like running around down here and then I found their little stash of peas they put in the uh, shop vac um, where the air exits the uh, vacuum and there's a blunderbuss of peas all over my shop. So that was a fun, that was a fun time. Um, and I'll be back in a minute. I'll see if I, I got a mouse. Might take a day or two. We'll see. All right, it's the next day. I'm gonna try to check this trap out here. Let's see if anything fell in. Uh, well, I can see something got some of the bait. Something got to the bait. You can see of it was eaten. I think I have it too close to this edge, so maybe I'll put a shield. I got it too close to the edge here, so maybe I've got to put a shield here so they can't get to it easy. And nobody fell in. Crap. Alright, I'll have to modify it again to put a thing on this edge so they can't reach it. Or maybe I move the food in. So we're gonna try that out and uh, I'll be back again. We'll see if it worked in the morning. Who knows if I'll catch something or won't catch something. Um, they may not, may not even visit tonight, so you never know. It's like Santa Claus. We don't know if he's gonna show up. We don't know if we've been good or bad. All right, checking the mousetrap. I can see something's already eaten the, the few loose ones on the top. Look at that. I had a couple over here. 
but no mouse. Well, that's a bummer. Something ate all my bait. And you can see that something took a piss and it stinks. This isn't working.